Welcome back, Mr. AP here again. So uh, just to you know, let's recap. In the last video tutorial, we uh, what we did was we added to the JText area the number of times the buy button is clicked. So we focused on the first buy button, which is the gluten-free pizza buy button. So we uh, since it's uh, a number so we converted it to string because append method only accepts string so we converted the number to a string using to string method and after converting this uh, to string we, append, we did add that to the uh, jtext area and the name of the jtext area is text area order info and that is inside the order the info which is the class name for order information panel class yeah so um, just to show you again the output let's run the, the program one more time so I'm gonna click this buy button for the gluten-free pizza five times one two three four five so when i click the order now button we shall see five somewhere in the jtext area are you ready so let's click the order now button so five is somewhere here see that so i know we need to uh, move this we need to uh to position the value five in this column right in the next row in quantity column and that's what we are going to do in this video we're going to print more we're going to organize to arrange the values appropriately okay so beside printing the um, the number of times the button buy is clicked we also uh, print the the name of the pizza right the type of pizza and for this since i'm using ctr gluten so the pizza type we're printing in the jtext area is gluten uh, free pizza again where are we supposed to print this we are going to print it inside this um, in the text area that is in uh, order information panel class so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here so since this is the text we print we want to print in the JTEXT area so we must put this text inside the double quotation mark All right so again so we have two append method uh, call calls to append method calls so it means that we are uh, we are adding these two pieces of information to the jtext area so are you ready to see what the output looks like let's run the program again okay so if I click the buy let's say twice for the the buy button I mean for the gluten-free I click twice so let's see if we would see the text gluten-free pizza in the value numeric value 2 okay are you ready I'm gonna click the order now there you go the gluten uh, free pizza is here and 2 is somewhere here but again we need to organize it we need to place the text uh, next line after the subtotal so I'm going to use backward slash n before printing the the text gluten free pizza uh, a new line is printed let's see if let's see if it's printed in the next line after subtotal yeah uh, sorry where is the I'm gonna click the buy button for the gluten free pizza maybe twice 
and there you go the gluten-free pizza text is now down the subtotal but we still to do what is still to we have to move the numeric value uh, until it reaches this uh, somewhere in this column yeah so I'm gonna use backward slash T again maybe two three four five let's see if five backward slash T's is enough so let me do it so I'm gonna click the buy button for the gluten-free pizza one two three four five and click the order now so ooh, wow I think five uh, tabs is enough one two three four five if I use six would it be okay if I add one more backward slash T let's find out I'm gonna click the buy button again for the gluten-free oh no if I use six tabs and the, the value is in the column of price so that's not a good idea though so five is enough five tabs is enough one two three four five okay for the last time let's run it so I'm gonna click the buy for the uh, gluten-free pizza maybe thrice and click the order now button and three is right in the column quantity wow so far so good yeah but the problem is this would be executed even though uh, uh, I mean the gluten-free pizza text is printed even though I don't click the buy button for that pizza type see I, I, I don't see I'm not gonna click buy button for the gluten-free pizza and then I click the order now still the text gluten-free is uh, printed here which you know doesn't make sense so if we don't click the button buy for that particular pizza type that pizza type must not be printed here in the JTEXT area although the quantity is zero because yeah that's correct because we did not click the buy button for that pizza type but still we must not print the type in the pizza type if we don't click the buy button so the solution to that is this must be executed if we click the button and how would Java know if we click the button the value of the CTR right so if the CTR if the CTR value is not equal to zero meaning the button buy is clicked so if the value of CTR is not equal to zero meaning to say the buy button is clicked then that's the time Java um, Java prints Java appends the text and the the counter value to the uh, JTEXT area okay so I hope this if statement is clear again one more time the only time these two statements are executed is if the counter is not equal to zero when the counter when a counter is not equal to zero it means the buy button is clicked so let's try to run it again so I'm not gonna click the buy button for the gluten-free pizza and let's see if the gluten-free pizza text would be printed here so let's click the order now see it doesn't appear it's not here because I did not click the buy button for the gluten-free pizza so if I not if I did not click the buy button for the gluten-free pizza this uh, this counter is equal to zero and if it's equal to zero these two statements will not be executed so I hope this is clear so you have to do this um, for all the buttons so I have done the first one the one for the uh, for the uh, gluten so you still have to work on 
the other seven uh, buttons, right? 